uh, we in a previous episode we spoke with a, with a fine gentleman who said that we spoke about innovation labs and turning turning uh, let's say products digital and and creating digital products to support uh, the business processes. And he said, if you as a head of digital lab or uh, in his understanding, digital lab is something that 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 that, that uh, really translates data into new, new new users. And if you say that you have something disruptive, you're gone. You're dead. You're dead in the water. You you just you you, you can leave the company. Everybody will hate you, and they will just stop you. Uh, just don't disrupt. Support, evolve, disrupt. What I meant by by driving, I was meaning putting a little push into the evolution because, from my experience. Yeah. The evolution, as a biologist, it goes a random way and it goes, you know, finds the the, the, the least resistance. Uh, sometimes it needs to be directed evolution. You need to have ability to 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 to. to yeah, there there have been important events in history when you had the scientific revolution, the industrial revolution. Those create these kind of changes. Uh, is there a data revolution? happening right now i'm not so sure okay there is still a uh, it's still making most of what we have today rather than building capabilities of the future okay so the industrial revolution was all around building capabilities for the future mm -hmm. uh, irrespective of whether we know how we use it uh, today or not so i'm not very sure if uh, there is another revolution in the offing which could drive your revolution to the next stage but maybe this is the time when the, the things come together for the revolution to happen. And no, if, if, of, uh, if you had uh, if you had such a, a a data revolution, because I I really love the concept and it 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 kind of I think it sparks a lot a lot in the imagination. Uh, how would you, how would you uh, kind of see a data revolution happen potentially in 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 the future? If uh, you know, is it something that we should be driving for? So essentially, it needs to have the attributes of uh, virality, right? Wherein it's not just one person talking about it or a couple of people talking about it amongst friends and so forth, but it needs to be demanded by people. It needs to come through from each individual saying, I want the sugar. Okay. So the whole uh, thing with I mean, I come back to sugar or things like this because I think about everything as commoditization. Mm -hmm. If you make everything ubiquitous, people will ask for it or will take take it as a given that it is always already available and I'm going to use it at all times. Okay. Back in the day, large corporates, nobody ever used uh, computers. Computers were limited to certain people who were doing data entry jobs. Today, as a CIO, when I come in, uh, data entry job is the least of my problem. Even uh, people who probably are doing field sales and field work want a laptop which is high spec, which is which has the best in class uh, uh, features and everything else. So it's because they are demanding. The technology is also improving, and uh, we also have uh, things like. Uh, uh, the riverside and everything else where we are able to have those kind of conversations and so forth because of the demand that we created okay so if such a revolution needs to happen more and more people have to get into this kind of a uh, demand statement today what happens is their demand is limited to seeing reports at the end of the month the, it, it's, okay. it's 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 very interesting Not what you say because say, if, if, a few episodes ago, we spoke to Dr. Sue Tripathi from Accenture, and and the, one of the topics mm -hmm. that we mentioned was the we were talking about AI. We were talking about how AI, because it 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 shouldn't be reserved for the few kind of practitioners. It should be re, it should be actually for the users. Should, users should be should should be educated by what what is capable of, what is not capable of, how to use it safely. Uh, we, we talked about creating the ubiquitous language that will serve us to communicate effectively about this. It sounds to me like uh, you, you have a similar idea about data that uh, on, on, a, on, a, on a bit more basic level than AI, we should even be educating people about 
what data is, what it isn't, how to use it, and create this common language of talking about this. Because we, it seems like da- data is all around us, but we still don't have this, this communication ability to, to effectively talk about what, what, where we can take it. Listen to Between Data and Risk Podcast. 